this is Ekushan from Twitter. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, extracting uh, DLLs and uh, exists from the PS4 binaries and also the PS5 binaries. So uh, tools that we will need. Uh, first uh, we will need DNSpyX. You can find it here. The latest release. We're going to download it. Okay, seems we have it. I'm going to copy it, place it here on the desktop, and extract to the desktop. Okay. we have them here so next we need the, the tool from Socratic list is a friend of mine who does a lot of Python stuff um, so this PS4 mono binaries to il, e, I, il mono binaries so you, you go here to the raw and you click on save pages and you download it here so it's downloaded after that you need the ps4 or ps5 dumps they have to to have this format uh, for example dot dll dot sprx or dot easy dot sprx or dot stll for the older formats or dot s e x e for also for the older formats so uh, we have here an example of uh, big bosses uh, dumps you can also get more dumps uh, for your hack hacked uh, uh, ps4 um, uh, console you can dump it yourself from your system uh, so uh, first thing we will do is extract it so we're going to extract it okay we have it here extract it again and we have the dump here so we grab this we place it here next to the folder and then we open up the Linux shell or we can we can also use the the Windows uh, Python but I prefer the always always use WSL because it's it's the it's the best uh, to use with uh, with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Windows because I, I prefer I prefer using uh, uh, Linux tools to for this kind of tasks so we open the Linux shell And finally, we run the Python 3 PS4 mono to wheel, and it will parse all the the dot DLL dot SPRX because uh, Big Boss only dump those. They, they are the only PS5 uh, uh, modules that you can dump. Uh, for now that uh, that contain mono binaries so you go here to the dump uh, it's parsed so we have some dll's and we also have dot dll dot sprx so they are already uh, sorted by type so we go here we go here and we um, we uh, select all the dll's let's see okay so until here got got all the dll's here we cut them we put it in, in a separate folder called dll's for example so we, now we can cut this folder place it on a desktop okay it's here so now uh, we go to our DNSpy tool, uh, it's here, 
so we use the G tool, the console tool. I'm not sure if it works, but I I, I never tried to use it uh, more in in depth. So we click here, and it should open up. So we, uh, as you can see, I already opened a few a few of these. I can already delete them because they are not they are not in the same path. Let me see if I can delete them. Yes, I can. So delete. Okay. So we we'll go we we'll go here to file uh, and open. And we can try, for example, we'll go to desktop DLLs. Uh, for example, one one that we like to use, uh, I like to use a lot is the regi registry. So if we go here to registry and we open it, you can see it here. If we go here to SCA, SCE VSH, we have two uh, two types: registry and registry internal. It, we can see here the function names. So check error get init error get version get uh, get version for ps4 init okay uh, mem set uh, set bin uh, set init level uh, server convert region int uh, etc so if if uh, we want uh, to uh, to export this to a project we go here to the desktop we create a folder, for example, named registry, and we go here, right click, uh, no, it's not right click, we, we have to select it, and we click on file, export to project, the folder will be um, registry, and we select the folder, we leave the default options, and we click on export. So it's exported. We can now close here and we go to registry. Go here to SCV VSH registry. And you can see here the registry entries. We go here and you can see a lot of entries. For example, let's see. If we want uh, something simple to, to use, like for example, either, either, uh, either remote can find it here the registry entry for ideo mode uh, if we go here we want uh, for example update mode we can go here and find update mode if we want uh, for example exhibition mode I think it's exhibition mode no it's show mode Show mode. Let's see if we can. Yes. Show mode. You can see here the entry for show mode. You can also see here arcade mode. Um, plenty of entries here. So um, you, uh, these 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 entries are are already on the wiki. Uh, you can use it them. Uh, you can check them if you wish. Uh, this is useful for reverse engineering, so if you, you want to know what a function does uh, you can uh, you can al analyze from these entries. It's, it's also easier because since these are mono, mono applications and libraries you can dec decompile them pretty easily. They, they, they have no obf obfuscation whatsoever so you can just uh, you can just decompile at will um, okay so this is the see this is the tutorial uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it um, uh, and i hope i will see you on uh, on the next video uh, and uh, take care and uh, have a nice week